Welcome to EasyClick Academy. My name's Frank, and in this short video tutorial, I'll show you how to lock cells in an Excel spreadsheet to protect them from overwriting. Let's get started. As you can see, there is some data in this table representing sales made by John, Lucy, and Grace within a time span of three months, January, February, and March. The bottom row contains formulas to create the sum of these sales for a particular month. What we want to do here is leave the cells containing sales data, those are these cells right over here, unlocked for editing, so that people could write their own values in these cells, but at the same time lock the cells with formulas, months and names to make them read-only or non-editable. And this is how we do it. The first step is to check for the option to lock all the cells in the sheet. You can do so by clicking in the top left-hand corner. This highlights the whole spreadsheet. Now, right-click, find the Format Cells option, and a pop-up window appears. Check whether the locked option has been selected on the Protection tab. Through this, all the cells in the sheet can be locked. Click on OK, and we'll move on to the next step. Now, we'll select the cells we do not want to lock, the cells into which people will be able to type their data. Right-click again and Format Cells option again. For these cells, we will untick the locked box. This will leave them editable and people will be able to enter their own data here. Confirm through the OK button again. These two steps basically told the software first to lock all the cells in the spreadsheet and then in the second step, Excel was told which cell we want to keep unlocked, which cells should remain editable. Well, this all leads us to the third and last step, to make the magic work. To apply the rules that were set earlier, the function protect sheet must be activated, or turned on. This can be done through the review tab, with this protect sheet button. If you need to, you can set up a password for security reasons. I'm going to skip the password for now, so I'll only confirm it by clicking on the OK button. The spreadsheet with the cells as we selected them is now protected. We can double check together. The cells that will contain sales data can be edited, but the formulas, the rest of the table, all the months and the names have been locked, set up as read-only, so no one can overwrite the information inside them. If you want to undo the protection, simply go to Review tab, Unprotect Sheet, and all the cells in the spreadsheet will be open for editing. If you found this video helpful, like us and subscribe to receive more videos from EasyClick Academy. Watch more videos that help you use Excel quick and easy. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.